what we do is we go over to our expressions. You can leave it at transform.opacity if you want, uh, but again, I'll just type in value times. So it's going to look at this 40% value that we have, and multiply it by the 1 in our, in our slider. And there you go. So when the 1 represents on our slider 100%, 1 equals 100%, 0 equals 0%. So After Effects is looking at this 40% and saying, okay, this 40%, this 40 will equal you know, your 100%, so 1 through 40 is equal to like, uh, anyway, never mind. Um, you get what I'm saying. So let's uh, finish it off with the flicker. Go to it so opacity and value and again times pick with the slider and actually I can just copy and paste this a little expression here so copy white specs and let's create a value expression value then copy that entire expression because we're going to be doing this exact same expression for the opacity in the uh, black specs let's go to the vignette and the adjustment layer hit T for opacity and I'll click the stopwatch and again, control V, control V, seeing how that's a good thing about having value. It's exact value, opacity value. Typing in value for the opacity is the same as typing, you know, it'll be read it as value type when you type it in for scale. It'll read value for scale as scale, value for opacity as opacity. So, you know, it's just easier to do it that way. Um, if I make, make another tutorial for expressions, I'll explain in depth because I'm just kind of off, off the cuff here. Okay, so now we have our everything connected to our slider. And so the only two key frames that I promised we were going to do is taking the uh, slider from 1 to 0. So we, let's choose which, uh, which one we want here. Where the guy turns to, to the hot Ronimitra. And he says, I love you, honey. Oh, don't go. No, anyway. <laughs> Sorry. It was, it was a good movie. I gotta watch it. Okay, so let's... Uh, about... Yeah, maybe right there. And we'll go to zero. Select them, right-click, keyframe assistant. Easy ease. And I wouldn't have done that. I would have just hit uh, F9, but using Camtasia, unfortunately, I can't use my shortcuts. So, slowly the scratches and the splotches and the shaking come on. There you go. Sorry about that, guys. I also forgot uh, <coughs> to remove the uh, the jitter from the uh, uh, the the. Uh, Jitter from the Y value, Y position of the uh, of my um, video clip here. So let's go to P and bring down the expressions. Move this up a little bit. Bring the expressions down, and somehow we got to get rid of um, um, the expressions here. So let's uh, bring up my slider. So we have a small problem here. If we take the uh, y plus random, you know, y plus a random value, and uh, we multiply it by um, our time slider here, which is the value is going to be zero and one, it'll work with the one because the random value times one is that random value. But if we multiply it by zero, that y y value becomes zero, and we want to remove the random negative fifteen negative fifteen to fifteen value. If we multiply it by the time slider, we will actually be multiplying the y plus the random value times zero, which will negate the whole thing, and the y value in the end will become zero, which will offset our our um, movie clip, which, which is what we don't want. So we have to figure out um, 
how to uh, remove the actual random value without multiplying the uh, uh, y by zero when we when we uh, at the end of the uh, animation here. Um, so how are we going to do this? Y plus random. Um, so I guess we can multiply. Put in parentheses here. Put random in the parentheses. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but we'll see in just a second. And uh, so it's y plus parentheses random, your random value, um, times, pick up the slider, and then close parentheses again. And that should do it. And that has done it. The actual flickering of the uh, uh, video is removed. Now, unfortunately, you probably can't see it, uh, the uh, um, frame of the video here. If you watch, actually, let me turn the video off. Oh, it's not going to work. If you watch the outline of the uh, um, the video, you can see it jittering, but now you can see it slowly turns off. So there we go. Okay, so yeah, at the I'm gonna play the whole video through until the to the end and um, and get to see Rona's butt shot. Anyway, um, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. I know it. Uh, was a little long, but hopefully you got the idea of, uh, of expressions and how to use them to help out um, with uh, your your work. And the good thing is that even though you don't have to go hardcore on it, um, expressions, just even the simplest expressions, are really helpful in uh, uh, creating a good composition, um, maintaining the cleanliness of your composition. And uh, it's, it is a really powerful tool, even if it in its simplest forms, uh, with just adding and subtracting uh, values and stuff like that. So again, um, I am done. Uh, if you have any suggestions or questions, just please let me know. And if you whine and complain, want to whine and complain about my jabbering or how long it is, please don't, because I'll just erase your comment, because you're just being an ass. Anyway, um, oh yeah, and if you want to bitch and whine, just send me one a personal email instead of just you know ruining my you know the I don't care about my approval rating I just don't want other people to see like what kind of an ass you're being okay anyway I'm, I'm stop I'm done bitching again I'm I'm yammering on okay I'm done um, see you guys later